So oh. I have some questions for you. Yep. You know, and um, my first questions will be how can someone someone ensure that they have a, a successful marriage? A successful marriage starts from singlehood. It can start way back as when you are born, mm -hmm. how your parents raise you and how you handle your singlehood will determine a successful marriage. Right. However, if you miss the opportunity of your parents raising you in a Christ-like culture or in a marriage-friendly culture, mm -hmm. you are still good if you can you know, handle your singlehood. Yes. If you've missed that, you can still learn at any point, wherever you are. Or even if you're already married and you're not having a successful marriage, mm -hmm. you still have an opportunity to have a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. So in order to have a, su a successful marriage, you need to understand what marriage is and understand the principles that operate marriage. Mm -hmm. So if you do not understand what marriage is and the principles that operate marriage, you will never have a successful marriage. Doctors go to school for seven years mm -hmm. to become a medical doctor. Yes. Lawyers go to school for training and write, take a board to become lawyers. But a lot of people think that they can just get up on their own mm -hmm. and have and rock marriage without learning it from anywhere. Mm -hmm. We learn and understand the principles of marriage. And with the help of God, we deliver the successful oh, marriage. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for yeah. these answers. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, before we go to the next question, yeah. I want you to tell me what is marriage? For you, what is the definition of marriage? Um, at this moment, I don't have a standard definition that I go by, but I will let you know that Marriage is, is an institution by God between a man, a woman, and God. So it's a three-way relationship, a man, a woman, and God. Marriage is here for God's agenda. He created marriage on purpose so that man and a woman will re reflect him here on right. earth, will represent him here on earth. Why he is ruling in heaven? man and woman are ruling the earth mm -hmm. so that's why they are here to reflect god on right. earth so when we do the lord's prayer we say that thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven which that will it is the husband and the wife and the children that are to do that will here on earth the same way it is being done in heaven so husband and wife are to be like ambassadors for christ here on earth they are representing god whatever they are doing they're on an assignment they're on a mission that god has sent them to do and he has given a specific assignment to the wife mm -hmm. and a specific assignment. role to the man. Mm -hmm. And those both roles work together. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I think it's very important for everybody to know what is marriage. Right. And to also know uh, the definition of marriage right. before you go there. Mm -hmm. Because a lot, a lot of young people, like a lot of people today, mm -hmm our generation mm -hmm. and even even people in the church mm -hmm. they just get married like that without even knowing what is marriage what and is mar what is the purpose of the marriage, purpose of marriage. So, and talking about the purpose of marriage the purpose of marriage we talk about uh, reflecting yes. god here yes. on earth yes. with purpose of marriage god said that he blessed the man and the woman and asked them to go and multiply but a lot of times multiplying some people just understand multiplying as multiplying <laughs> kids no multiply babies <laughs> you see a woman she's already tired but she keeps multiplying babies mm -hmm. and that she cannot even take care of multiplying babies is good it's good yeah but when it is uh, you don't only multiply babies you also multiply the funds you can you imagine some people multiply babies and beg other people to feed the babies mm. like this baby doesn't have food can you help with food i mean god has given you the ability to multiply babies mm -hmm. and he has also given you the ability to multiply the food mm -hmm. that's why we are able to plant and harvest that's the meaning of multi so a man and a woman in a marriage are supposed to plant so they can harvest multi and feed those babies that they have multiplied mm -hmm. so they are supposed to walk the earth that's why god makes a tree right. and you take the tree and you make a chair you know we are supposed to be creative use the world develop the world the way god wants us to do things have evolved so far now we are in the in the android uh, generation that's all the capacity of man and woman if man and woman was not the husband and wife this world would not be here right. today because uh, god counts on marriage to continue the human race because one of the reasons why God wants us to marry is to raise godly kids, to multiply the earth, 
to portray his legacy, to, to proclaim his righteousness to the next generation. Like you said, you want to raise your kids in the godly way. They will raise their kids in the godly way. And they will raise, that's how the, the, the agenda of God will continue to go from generation to generation. generation. So that's marriage, the responsibility of marriage. It starts with marriage. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>